We, 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 we didn't know. We were both babes in the woods, but it was the big, biggest reaffir reaffirmation of trusting your instincts. And because we had to wait an additional six months for Jack Nicholson to be freed up, we had this longer, longer period of casting time to put these groups together to uh, get our ensemble, our ensemble group. And, you know, it's, it's, it's a mixture. You work with a really good director uh, like Milos Forman, who had done pictures before, like The Fireman's Ball, which had a large cast. And so we just found the, the, the right people. But Danny instigated being the first person um, out of the box. And uh, by the time he got up to Salem, Oregon and start shooting, we knew we were, we were in really good shape because we had two weeks of rehearsal at the mental hospital. I remember that. that and again, was talking like about amazing. producing, everybody thought we were crazy. Yeah, Why are you amazing. shooting this in January when there's no light in Oregon <laughs> in a real mental hospital when you could have been on a set yeah. down here and it would have been so much easier? And we, the fools that we were, Saul and I thought, I don't know, the ambiance of being exactly, around real, real patients and all of that. But that all of this was just instinctively that all turned out added to, 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 to help, uh, like, help you know. a lot. So Jack arrived a week later from, mm -hmm. from, from the rehearsals. And these guys were into it. And they were actually doing and meeting and doing uh, group therapy sessions with actual patients and stuff. And Jack came in the first day, and I remember at lunch. We stopped at lunch, and everybody was having lunch. And, he throws his plate away and he goes outside and I'm the producer. Oh God, we got problems, we got trouble already. Jack, Jack, what's wrong? What's wrong? He goes, Who are these guys? Who are these actors? They don't stop. It's lunchtime. Doesn't anybody take a break around here? And everybody was so much into their characters and and were that person. Uh, and that's when I knew we had something special. Yeah, he, he had no idea what hit him when he came <laughs> up there. It was like we were all we had the great thing about that choice was that, you know, to, like you say, you could have built sets or done anything like that. But you and um, uh, Michael and Saul, uh, I think especially you and Milos, really wanted us to live there at the, at the institution. Well, there were these little cells that we all had as dressing room kind of things. We, you know, we, were, we were in these little the dressing rooms cells. Were the, were the cells. And, and Milos had a cell, Jack had a cell. We all had cells along that hallway where the, where the, the, the orderlies dragged Billy Bibbit and that, all that was real, that was the real deal.